battery for the um, Canon is at home charging, but classes are done. I'm over here at Panera. I haven't even 20 hours, so. Thank you. So I'm gonna get some food, and uh, I'll explain in a few minutes. I'm going all over the place. All right, so I just ate at Panera. Uh, there's a really nice E38 740 IL with style 37s right there. That looks pretty good. Um, I talked to my parts guy at Dave Walter BMW, and um, they don't have any of those bolts in stock. All right, hello. So uh, my my iPhone, my 5S, right? Check this out. I actually I've, I've deleted a couple of photos now, but I was in the middle of recording a clip at Panera, which you probably saw, and then got cut off. It's right here. And uh, it just totally froze. So I got out of that, went back into the camera app. Yeah, there it is. Cannot take photo. There's not enough available storage to take a photo. This is a 64 gigabyte iPhone. I have successfully used 64 gigabytes of disk, solid state drive storage. So um, the iPhone 6 event is tomorrow. I'm actually really excited about that. I think it's at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, so that'll be really cool to see that and see what Apple does in respect to the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus or whatever the hell they're going to call their 5.5 inch display iPhone. So I had my lunch at Panera. I drove up 91 in Hudson, stopped at Callahan's um, to help my grandparents order a, a carpet rug for their, their kitchen. So I was there about, about half hour, 45 minutes, talked to a guy I know there who actually drives an 03 330i. So I was telling him about this. Um, then I drove up to BMW Cleveland. I don't know if you heard in the clip before it shut off that Dave Walter doesn't have the part for a few days. Told him to forget about it. Went up to BMW Cleveland, bought it there for $3. Got it. So now I'm ready to put it in. And I'm going to finish up a tie rod. There I go again. Sway bar link end video. Um, talking about, about this. So here's the bolt. It was like $3. $3.5. It almost looks like the same size as a wheel stud but i don't think i'd want to put a wheel stud in there so anyways we should have this fixed today guys i have now replaced the bottom bolt which is right here and tightened the top bolt down using a 6.16 millimeter socket and a long ratchet so that should take care of my problems now so the wheels back down to about 90 pounds i'm going to put the jack away take it for a ride and i'll let you know if that fixes our issues Everything's quiet. I'm gonna let the engine warm up. I, I am 99% sure that. Yep, it would be real bad. Would have been real bad here before. So, it would appear as it's fixed. So, it's good news. Ooh, kids. Biking on the wrong side of the road. Now I'm in the wrong gear. Oh, you hear it? Oh, I'm not downshifting either. I hope inline sixes don't have trouble with rod bearings. Well, the bolts installed and tight, and it's silent. As silent as it's going to be. I still hear some uh, the, the joints in the road make noise, obviously. Yeah, I fixed it. And it's warm too. So I'm done with the car today. I just mowed here. Had to blow leaves off the back. They're falling already. It would have taken forever if I didn't blow the leaves off. So I did that and uh, then cut. The front was actually pretty high and I just did it last Tuesday. So I did this one today. I'll probably do that one tomorrow, followed by that one and wrap the week up on Thursday with this one over here, which I see a little yellow flag down there. So they just got fertilized, which means it's gonna start growing like crazy. Um, I'm gonna go inside. I've got one quiz due this week for um, life on planet Earth. So I think I'm gonna do that. There's no math to do tonight. And then I've got some YouTube, so be able to sit back and relax. But I gotta let this roll a few feet forwards in the driveway now. And then we're done. Wow, that parking brake works incredibly. I ran. Cider, first time of the year. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> and we have mini, <laughs> Baby pie. mini apple pies. Friggin' right. Oh yeah, it gets better yet. Yeah. Oh my god. We Kenan. got cookies over there. Kenan, we're gonna die. There's cookies. Kenan, we're gonna die. Oh, probably. Alright. Crit pour. Pour the cider. Get some lights on. We just got back from Walmart. 
Did a bunch of filming today for the LED interior video. Got that taken care of. Does it smell okay? It's really dark. Oh, this one. Oh, it smells excellent. Yeah, it's all it's dinged in though. It yeah. needs PDR. Not PTC for once. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sound. It looks good. Tell me when. Fill it up. That'll do. Mm. Oh, that's very good. First first cider of the year. It could be cooler. It's, it wasn't refrigerated. We should put it in the freezer for five minutes while we cut the pie. Look at that. It is a totally full moon with the human eye, not the camera. I can see everything fine. I can read the numbers on my neighbor's house. This is unreal. Look at my shadow. Can you see my shadow? With, with my eye, it's clear as day. I can see that I'm holding up five fingers. The Canon, the light sensor isn't big enough. Canon's just leaving. It's uh, probably about 12.30. I'm gonna move the Accord in. We finished our filming today. Um, nerded out about tomorrow's Apple event for a little bit, which I'll talk about in the final clips of this vlog, probably. But it feels like it's like nine or 10 o'clock to me right now for some reason. And I'm predicting 12.30, 12.48. Wow. Good thing there's no homework due tomorrow. That went a lot longer tonight than I expected. But I'm gonna put this car away and I'll talk to you from inside. All right, we're cleaned up, back in business. It's 1.20. So, tomorrow, September 9th, today, September 9th, Apple's holding their uh, media press event for uh, what is expected to be the iPhone 6 talking about, as well as some iWatch wearable Apple product. Nothing we haven't heard. There's been a ton of stuff leaked starting months ago. Uh, so we're expecting two iPhone 6s, a 4.7 inch display, uh, trumping the iPhone 5 and 5S display by 0.7 of one inch. So it'll be 7 tenths of an inch bigger than what we're used to. And then there'll be a 5.5 inch model. That'll be the phablet. Um, my concern, I'm accepting that to be true. My concern with that is the 5.5 inch device will become the, the flagship iPhone. And my concern is that the 4.7 inch which is what exactly what I would want in terms of a, a screen size, would become something more like the 5C, not having the most updated hardware. Um, obviously the battery's gonna be smaller, it's a smaller device, it'll use less power. I'm not too worried about that. Um, camera, if we get some crappy camera in comparison to the 5.5 inch uh, device, that'll suck. Um, hoping both get near field communication, NFC capabilities. But if there's some features or some performance that's only available in the 5.5, that's gonna suck for those of us who don't want a big screen. And I really think that Apple knows that and will continue to produce a flagship 4.7 inch, maybe alongside uh, the 5.5. So those are my thoughts with that. As far as big upgrades, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. It'll probably be thinner, lighter, better camera, better battery life, and faster. That's what it's been ever since the iPhone came out. Now with an NFC, NFC chip, Bluetooth, Bluetooth 4.0, 802.11n, maybe AC, probably don't need it in the phone. Uh, so we'll see tomorrow, higher resolution display, stuff like that. iWatch, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be on board with that. I like wearing watches like this. I don't know that I wanna put some Apple screen on my wrist. We'll see, we'll see tomorrow. It'll be a really interesting day. I have a class from 11 to 11.50. I'll be home by 12.25. The event starts at 1. Kenan's going to come over about 12.45. We got those donuts today for that tomorrow, so we'll be able to have some brunch, watch the event. It's going to stream live at apple.com, stuff like that. So today was very productive. I fixed the car. We got the carpet ordered. We got two classes done. We did some homework. Um, found another light bulb in the house that needs to be replaced. I mowed the yard, stuff like that. So pretty good day for Monday. It's a beautiful day today, really sunny and warm. Tomorrow, we are start cooling down though. By the end of the week, I'm seeing 50s and 60s. Um, but tomorrow, there's a chance of rain, so I may or may not take 3.30, depending on what that looks like from bed when I wake up tomorrow, but you'll be the first to know. All right, speak with you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night.